But why I decided to do exactly this is because in Croatia, uh, so over 100 years ago, Nikola Tesla was born. He invented the electric motor that we are using everywhere today. And being a Croatian, I read a lot about him and his motor. And at that time, so in 2008, 2009, electric cars weren't the thing. And I was wondering why nobody makes electric cars that are exciting. So I wanted to do that with my BMW where I blew the engine up to show that electric cars can be fun and exciting and that you know, in the future when someday combustion engines won't be around anymore, that there is still space for enthusiasts to enjoy their cars. And that's, I think, what's special about the Nevera. Even people who don't like electric cars, when they try the Nevera, they're like, wow, this car was built by proper car guys. Like, this is fun. Right. Yeah. It's exciting. Like Chris Harris, you know, he is not really a huge fan of electric cars, but he loved the Nevera and he was blown away by it. Um, and but it's for me, it's not just about electric. So that's, let's say, one part of my journey where I did the craziest things with electric cars you could do. Like now it's accepted that electric cars are, are fast and all of that stuff. But 15 years ago when I started, it would have been impossible to imagine an electric car would be fast and the fastest combustion cars, fastest hybrids, whatever. And that's actually what the Nevera is. It's the fastest accelerating car ever built. And, uh, but, but I'm not religious about electric. So now, you know, Bugatti is also part of the story. And you will see it in a few months, the, the success of the Chiron, which is, you know, from the last bolt, from, from the first to the last bolt was, you know, I, I've led that project and uh, was really, again, an idea in this head. And you will see it has a very interesting combustion engine, very big one. Uh, so I'm just about doing cool stuff for, uh, with cars not because of a particular, let's say, technology or whatever, be just because I think in the end, like, you know, I'm, I'm an optimist and I believe that cars are kind of the culmination of all the human uh, disciplines. On one side, art, because they have to be beautiful, but not just in terms of looking at them, but also, you know, the way it feels when you touch a button, the way it feels when you open a door, the way it sounds when you close the door, the way it smells in the car, you know, it's like, a lot of sensory experiences, but then also all of the sciences like material science and uh, aerodynamics and composites and software and electronics, everything is in the car. Everything humanity is doing is in the car and it's an arms race between so many smart people in the world, so many manufacturers. So I think that's why I got excited about cars initially as a kid. And I kind of feel if you push in the right direction and do cool and exciting stuff and people get the opportunity to understand the people behind them, uh, that new generations would be excited about it as well.